Okay, I thought I'd tell some blonde jokes. Two blondes on their way to Disneyland. They saw a big sign. Disneyland left. So they turned around and went home. Two blondes in a pet store. The one little the one blonde looks in a box of puppies and she says, "Oh, because in the box there was one little puppy with one eye." She says, "Sister, come here and look at this puppy with one eye." Her sister said, Once there were two blondes and they had to check their makeup. The one went in the bathroom and she opened up her compact and she goes, My! The lady in this compact looks very familiar. Her friend said, Let me see that. She looked in. Duh! It's me! A young woman said to her doctor, You have to help me. I hurt all over. What do you mean? said the doctor. The woman touched her right knee with her index finger and she said, Ow! That hurts! Then she touched her left cheek and she said, Ow! That hurts! Then she touched her right earlobe and she said, Ow! Even that hurts! And the doctor asked the woman, Are you a natural blonde? You, why, why, yes, she said. I thought so, said the doctor. You have a sprained finger? Hmm. A young woman was on vacation in the depths of Louisiana. She wanted to buy a pair of genuine alligator shoes in the worst way, but was very reluctant to pay the high prices the local vendors were, at, were asking. After becoming frustrated, she said, You know what? Maybe I'll just go down to the river, down to the water, and catch my own alligator so I can make alligator shoes at a reasonable price. The shopkeeper says, Go be my guest. Maybe you'll luck out and catch yourself a big one. Well, determined, the blonde turned and headed for the swamps, set on catching a, herself an alligator. Later in the day, the shopkeeper is driving home when he spots the young woman standing waist-deep in water, shotgun in hand. Just then, he sees a huge nine-foot alligator swimming quickly towards her. She takes aim, kills the creature with a great deal of effort, hauls it up on the swamp bank. Lying nearby were several more of the dead creatures. The shopkeeper watches in amazement. Just then, the blonde flips the alligator on its back and frustrated says, Oh, shoot! This one's not wearing shoes either! These, these few here that I'm reading, I'm reading them off the internet because they're so cute. The blonde called screaming, 911! 911! Help me! Help me! My house is on fire! The dispatch said, Ma'am, please calm down. I need to get information from you. Again, the blonde yelled, Help me! Help me! My house is on fire! The dispatch said, Ma'am, calm down. Calm down. How do we get to your house? The blonde said, Duh! In the big red truck! I like that one. That's cute. One day, a blonde walks into a car shop. She looks around to see if she can find the perfect car for herself. She finds a beautiful car with fine leather, but as she bends over to feel it, she lets out a toot. She looks around to see if anyone noticed, but as she turns, she sees the sales guy right behind her. So she says, how much is that car? He replies back, miss, if you farted just by touching the letter, the leather, you're going to shit yourself when you hear the price. Oh, that stinks. Okay, I don't know if I like that one very good. Okay, okay. a blonde a brunette and a redhead were trying out for a new NASA experiment on sending women to different planets. First, they called the brunette in and asked her a question. If you could go to any planet, which planet would you go to and why? After pondering the question, she answered, I would like to go to Mars because it seems so interesting with all the recent news and possible extraterrestrial life there. Well, they said, well, oh, okay, thank you. That, that sounds interesting, and we'll get back to you. And they said, now the redhead needs to come in, and she came in, and they said, where would you like to go? And she said, I would like to go to Saturn to see all the rings again. It would be wonderful to see them in person, other than through a microscope or a, a telescope. They said, thank you, and they said, we'll get back with you. 
Finally, the blonde entered the room, and they asked her the same question they had asked the brunette and the redhead. She thought for a while, and she said, Well, I think I'd like to go to the sun. The people from NASA replied, Why, don't you know if you went to the sun, you would burn to death? The blonde smirked and put her hands on her hips, and she said, Are you guys dumb or something? I'm going to go at night. A blonde, a brunette, and a redhead escaped from jail. They were being chased by the police. They were running through the streets when they saw an old barn. So they ran in and they found three, Hirsch, three gunny sacks. And they all jumped in one. And the cops walked right in the barn and saw the three gunny sacks. And one cop says to the other, kick the bags to make sure nothing's in them. So the cop walks up to the first bag and with the brunette in it and he kicks it. And the brunette said, meow, meow. And the cop said, ah, just a cat. Then he kicks the second bag, and the, and the bag let out a woof, woof. And the cop said, oh, it's just a dog. Well, so they got to the third bag with the blonde in it, and they kicked it, and the blonde said, potatoes. Should I give up on these? Are you guys, have you had enough? How do you sink a submarine full of blondes? You knock on the door. Why does a blonde only change her baby's diapers every month? Because the instructions say, good up to 20 pounds. What stops then goes, stops then goes, a blonde at a blinking red light. What's five miles long and has an IQ of 40? A blonde parade. What is the blonde's highest ambition in life? They want to be like Vanna White and learn the alphabet. What are the six worst years in a blonde's life? third grade. What do UFOs and smart blondes have in common? You keep hearing about them, but you never see any. How do you keep a blonde busy all day? Put her in a round room and tell her to sit in the corner. What do you do when a blonde throws a pin at you? Run, she's got a hand grenade in her mouth. I think I'll stop with those.